Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to take a quick look at this. So I just got this in, still in the shrink wrap. It's a monitor hood for my cell phone. Now, this is a little bit different. So I decided to go this route because notice how thin it is and how compact. I'm trying to keep this down because one of the things I've sort of standardized on using my, my old Galaxy Note 5 uh, is my sort of, um, you know, flight phone of choice. So this seems to, in general, to have worked out, been working out the best. Um, actually, the iPhone 5S, my iPhone's working out a little bit better, but um, the one thing, the screen's just so small. It makes it very difficult. But this has a good screen size, good portability. Uh, it seems to have had good reliability, and so that's what I've been going with. So here's what we got. Um, yeah, it's a plastic bag. Let's open up the plastic bag and let's see. Ooh, ah, okay, pretty. So I like this so far. I, I like the fact it's got these rubber pieces. I'm not sure how long these are going to last. And I only paid, I think, under 15 bucks for this. Uh, so here's the hood thingy. So there's instructions. For those of you that always complain, I don't read the instructions. See, here's the, the instructions, but who cares? Uh, so I'm going to put this on... I'm assuming, you know, one of the things, one of the reasons I should touch on this, that I don't read the instructions, is this is sort of the, sort of the whole Apple mantra. I mean, do you really have to read the instructions to use most Apple products? No. The thing is, a good UI or a good product, you should be able to figure out most of it on your own. So, uh, and that's the way I look at things, and that's one of the reasons I don't read a lot of the instructions unless I really have to. Then that typically, to me, means there's something up with the product. So, anyways... Uh, back on track here off that little ramble this is how it works and uh, so far I'm uh, rather impressed it looks like might need a little bit of adjustment uh, because it, it's meant to be kind of flexible on different size screens it doesn't quite cover the whole screen uh, but I think it'll be uh, good enough um, because you can kind of see this edge here shows through and I will want it more, I want probably want it closer to this edge because let's go ahead and pull up the Go4 app. I'm not sure how, how much we'll get in this because it's going to want to. Um, all right, I'm in the lychee. But now notice how I've kind of lost these buttons over here. So the, these buttons are going to be kind of hard to reach as well as these are going to be a little bit, I think, difficult to reach. So it needs to be a little bit bigger. Now, I could, I think, you know, I messed it up because I hit the... Uh... Okay, so I stretched it out a little bit, and I seem to be able to get to the buttons a little bit better. Uh, I think this will work okay. One of the things that I wanted to, to see here, it will definitely fit here. So not bad. It could be a little bit wider for this phone. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes in different sizes. Um, but uh, I think it'll maybe in general work. I'm going to have to get this out in the field to see. Because can I get my finger in there to start it? Can I swap this? Well, first of all, i got to kill this. Um... I think it might be a little bit hard to get my fingers in there, but it does, does I think, I think it'll, you know, if I hold it down like that, it definitely does a pretty good job at shielding uh, from the sun, which is what I want to do. So I'll have to give it a shot in the field. I'll let you guys know how I like it. I'll have links for this down below if you're interested in it. Um, for a tad bit smaller phone, I mean, I think it'd be perfect. It's just a little bit, and, and again... I hate to do it, but it's like the brim of a hat. I don't know if, you, you know, for those of you that wear baseball hats out there, you know, you can kind of stretch it out. And so um, I think I can probably do that a little bit. So, and I think I can also do it. So I don't know if you've just seen that. That's kind of interesting. That kind of works. What I've done is uh, now if I take this out, it'll pop out. But what's happening is since it's in this carrier, these rubber bands are now pulled back, so this is now at an angle uh, in here. And so pretty much, let me get it down here, uh, I can now get my fingers into most everything over here, um, save for this far corner up here. So that's a little bit better. 
I may t take a look, see if I can find a little bit bigger one. This one will definitely work with my iPhone 5S, so no worries there. Well, I'll tell you what, let's see how it works with the iPhone 5S. Okay, through the magic of video, I've got my iPhone 5S and I got my iPhone 4S. So let's go ahead, I took this off here, I and mean, let's see how this does on the, the 5S. So let's go ahead and get this on here. I can tell you already it fits kind of loose. Um, and I would say this is a no-go for the 5S. No-go for the 5S. So it's definitely going to be a no-go for the 4S. The, the, the iPhone 5S simply is not long enough for this. And this thing, as you can see, encompasses the whole 4S. Um, so I don't know. Let me try this one again. Uh, because even width-wise, it's kind of, you know, not even wide enough to really engage the rubber band. So, yeah, this doesn't. Nah. I'm going to say that's busted for that. So, again, if I go back to this one, this seems like it's just a little too small. So it's, this is kind of like the, uh, what's it, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Some are too small, some are too big. Yeah, because this one, this for this, needs to be just a skoshy bit bigger. Um, I'm going to give it a try with this. I bought it. I have it. It's mine. Um, wasn't a huge amount of money. So I'm going to see how it works. So watch for some future videos. But I definitely wouldn't get this version for the 5, five or definitely the 4, just too small. Uh, and the biggest thing is getting your fingers into the pieces over here. Because as you see, I get this just this little sliver of screen that I'm not making it. So... Um, maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't. I have, uh, for example, a Galaxy, which I'm recording this on, actually, is a Galaxy Note 3. And it would probably fit that one just perfect. So, needs to be a little bit bigger. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, thumbs up. Let me know what you're having for lunch today. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah it's probably going to be bologna. But, anyways, don't forget to subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, because I know a lot of you guys view this and you're not subscribers. Feel guilty and hit that button over there. You won't regret it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.